So I'm here with Sadad Husseini, the president of Husseini Energy and the former executive VP of Aramco. Welcome to Oil and Money. Thank you. Um, just to kick off, I'd like to ask you how you think challenges facing the industry have changed in the last year? Uh, well, we've had a very big change, which is the demand has kept growing. The supply has not grown as fast as demand. Demand has grown at roughly one and a half million barrels per year, mm -hmm. uh, supply at only 700,000. So we're starting to see a growing uh, outlook for a shortfall in supply. I think that's a big change from mm -hmm. last year. Okay. And how big a risk do you think there is of a major oil supply gap in the next five years due to underinvestment? Well, uh, definitely the industry has been cutting back on investments. Uh, we historically used to invest six, seven hundred billion dollars a year. Mm -hmm. uh, this last year it's about 350 billion. Next year it's looking like 300 billion. Uh, this is setting up the outlook for a, a supply shortfall probably starting in 2017, late 2017. And prices will adjust and therefore probably the outlook will be higher prices at a lower growth rate in supply. Okay, thank you. Um, and just, uh, I wanted to ask you a question about the Paris Agreement. Uh, so with that about to come into force, how well do you think the industry is responding to the climate challenge? Uh, the climate challenge is a long-term challenge and it's going to take a while to be able to cut back on the uh, CO2 emissions across the world. So I think there's a recognition of the problem, mm -hmm. but the execution is going to be slower than most people's expectation. Uh, it will happen, but it will happen slowly. Okay. Um, and just, just finally, uh, so at the end, nearly at the end of day two now, can you tell me what your biggest takeaway has been so far from this year's Oil & Money Conference? I think the, uh, this year's Oil & Money has shown that there's a convergence between OPEC and non-OPEC uh, producers in terms of recognizing the need to balance supply and demand. Uh, the excess supply has certainly diminished. Now the outlook is how to manage demand and supply together. And I think the interests of both producers and consumers are aligning. So this is uh, a much more cooperative sentiment this year than we've seen in the past. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time. Thank My you. pleasure.